WING stands for Women Imparting to the Next Generation, and we are a biblically-based Christian women's mentoring ministry. We provide the program structure and materials for churches to purchase and easily implement. And in doing WING Ministries, the church develops a multi-generational leadership team that administers the six-month program, and they pair young women that are in their 20s and 30s with women that are 40 and older. Uh, in our world today, there are one billion people who are chronically hungry and at risk uh, for starvation. 800 million of those people live on small farms. And uh, for 25 years, Floresta, now Plant with Purpose, has worked to provide sustainable long-term solutions to the problems of rural communities around the world. We work in seven countries. Haiti is our, la our largest program where we have 40 staff. We teach long-term sustainable community development. We plant trees. We plant about a million trees a year now. We create enterprise, creating jobs through local uh, microfinance organizations and savings and loan groups. And we share the gospel, the good news of Jesus Christ. Our big question is, how can Convene bring more value to the church? 122 of Jesus' 132 appearances in public were in the marketplace. He didn't pick any disciples from the clergy. There must have been a reason for that. 92% of people have never heard a sermon on 8 to 5. So that's where we are, is where people are living. So we're serving Christian CEOs, presidents, and business owners through Wise Counsel. There's a little boy, Michael, nine months old. He had weeks to live. I was a teacher in that junior high, and insurance refused to cover the cost for a $200,000 bone marrow transplant that year, and the family couldn't afford it either. That's when the most picked on kid in the school wiped out his bank account, brought in 12 $5 bills to save Michael's life. In four weeks, the kids at the school were so inspired by Damien's gift, they raised over $227,000. Damien gets a standing ovation at the end of the year, and little Michael is now 18 years old, and he's my son. And uh, we have, a, um, as a result of that, 650 little sparrows now have been adopted across the 26 United States. In, Kids have raised over $5 million in a spirit of God's love, service, and compassion, teaching them the value and the meaning of life. One life matters. Our mission is really to provide a loving home for boys and girls, uh, and our, our core, core goal is to train them to be disciples for Christ. Fritz, who is our key staff, um, all the houses around him went down. Fritz's house remains standing, and if you've ever been to Haiti, he was on saying, Merci, Jay-Z, just praising and worshiping the Lord on his front porch. All the neighbors saw, they came over and said, God is protecting this man, and they all came to faith in Christ. Some of them can't even eat, like, one meal a day. Yeah, and there's seven kids in the family. They don't have any beds or anything here. They just sleep on the floor. Yeah. Uh, Haiti! I don't know where Haiti means. Haiti means, uh, I'm good, I'm a history. I was able to impact uh, the kingdom assignment and take a big crowd of people to the Well Done Awards. One of those was my pastor and uh, helped to fill a container of wheelchairs, helped to send a short-term mission team to Ecuador, which I led. And, um, and then my pastor, who attended that, that uh, event for the Well Done Awards, ended up saying, well, let's do kingdom assignment at our church. And so we did that a couple weeks ago, and 106 people ended up uh, taking a kingdom assignment and saying, I want to do something for the kingdom of significance. So I joined the Barnabas group uh, because the scripture says that he who walks with the wise becomes wise. And um, I'm counting on you guys. Our passion is reaching apartment communities with the gospel of Jesus Christ. Now, what's up with apartment communities? Apartments are near and dear to God's heart for two pretty simple reasons. One is a lot of people live there. 54% of the population of the top 10 U.S. cities are renters. 54%. But what's really close to God's heart is that chart on the left. While 40% of homeowners claim to be connected to a church, less than 5% of apartment residents. I run a ministry called the Nations Foundation. What we do is we, uh, we focus and pinpoint a demographic of people that's 20 million people strong. It's a demographic of snowboarders. 
And so uh, many of you here might just look at me and laugh, and that's okay. I'm used to it. Um, <clears throat> But uh, what we do is uh, we produce these films right here. Is anybody here familiar with uh, Warren Miller ski films? Anybody here seen a Warren Miller ski film? Anybody here familiar with Billy Graham? Okay, imagine those two having a kid. Well, don't imagine that, but we're that kid. Okay, we're running around. We're showing these videos. Uh, we, we show, we've been all around the world. Billions of dollars have been poured into Africa over the years, and it has less infrastructure today. And so the whole concept of microenterprise is to empower people to have long-term economic sustainability. The Congo, our average first loan is actually $49, and the Dominican Republic is $78. These are typically uh, uh, six- to eight-month loans. It's a social contract. There's no physical collateral, no credit history, no collateral. So we get three to four or five women together. 80% of our clients are women. Uh, men are women together, and they cross-guarantee each other's loans. Then we take four or five of those solidarity groups and put them together to make a community bank. And that bank is really at the heart of what begins to build that community as they support each other. And so we train them. We actually require them to save a little bit. Uh, each time and then they get the the idea of what what it means to have money around and after a while instead of credit-led microenterprise we have savings led which they're actually loaning to each other 90 percent unemployment in congo uh, so many natural resources with good resource management they could feed two-thirds of africa by themselves the world bank did a computer analysis of their economy and the computer came back and said, there's no one living in Congo. It's all about leadership. Trained, godly, ethical leadership. Aid alone is not going to meet the needs. The Wall Street Journal reported that in the last 60 years, $1 trillion of aid has been given to Africa. And yet today, there are twice as many people living on a dollar a day than there were even 25 years ago. Yet statistics say that 48.4% of those living on the African continent are Christians and 20,000 additional are turning to Christ every day. 7,000 additional leaders are needed every day for the growing evangelical church in the world. There are over one and a half billion Muslims in the world today and 500 million live in North Africa and the Middle East. And they are the most open and unreached people group in the world today. We um, have an unprecedented opportunity to share the love of Jesus with, with the Muslims. Sat7 is a Christian satellite television by and for the people of the Middle East. God gave me a burden to reach the professional class, the thinkers and the leaders of the world, and through them, try to carry on the gospel throughout the world. I learned that disease, again, poverty and uh, lack of education, are the result of leaders who don't do what they have to do. We train them and go with them into, the, into their world, present the gospel to people, bring it back to the church, and create sort of a business model that can go on and on and on, perpetuate itself and self-sustain itself. A few years ago, the uh, Barna Group uh, reported that like the culture at large, the divorce rate in the Christian church is approximately 50%. Between Two Trees Ministry is about changing the healthy marriage ratio in the Christian church one marriage at a time. We believe the place to begin that is beginning to minister to Christian leaders, ministry leaders, and their marriages, helping healthy marriages in leadership to grow healthy marriages in the church. For over 2,200 language groups, this is what God's book looks like blank pages for over 350 million people not a single verse of scripture available in their mother tongue but by God's grace the seed company has developed a proven model where nationals are now doing Bible translation in their mother tongue in the last four years we've converted those three pregnancy resource centers into fully licensed medical clinics offering pregnancy testing, ultrasound, STD testing and treatment so we get these young kids in that are having issues with their sexual health and relationships um, and we test on all STDs and treat and we educate them on sexual integrity. Most importantly our clinics have ultrasounds so we can introduce the mother and the father to their baby growing in the womb. Uh, our clinics have seen since we converted, since I last saw you, over 35,000 client visits have come in. There's roughly 100 million disabled people around the world, many of whom will never have access to a wheelchair. So our goal at Free Wheelchair Mission is to get 20 million people lifted off the ground in Jesus' name 
So each person knows that God loves them and hasn't forgotten them. Nine years ago, our founder, Don Schoendorfer, started Free Wheelchair with the help of members of the Barnabas Group, of you, to launch this ministry. And I'm pleased to say, to date, we're just under 500,000 wheelchairs donated in 77 countries because of your initial investment in us. I'm the president of Urban Youth Collaborative. We're a group in San Diego's inner city that facilitates partnerships between churches and campuses to resource and run 28 outreach Bible clubs for 1,000 kids every week. And our mission is to win kids to Christ, see them connected to the local church, and then see them mobilized as change agents in their neighborhoods. And I came to the Barnabas Group last year uh, as a younger nonprofit trying to find out how we can really empower our young people who might be cash poor. So they funded us to give a real $100 bill to each of our student clubs facilitated by the youth pastor leader that's in charge of it. And then we set them loose all over town to make a difference. They bought $100 of donuts, went to a high traffic area, and in four hours turned $100 into $700. And then, if that wasn't impressive enough, then they went to an in-need family's home in Claremont, which is right by their school, and they did an extreme home makeover Claremont edition. The Bible says to be successful in battle, you need many advisors. And so the Barnabas Group has given us some resources to help us with branding, fundraising, and this whole journey and adventure of becoming uh, uh, effective ministry in San Diego's inner city. So thanks, Jim, for that opportunity as well. As you can see, the Barnabas Group is not just about a few meetings and a couple of lunches. It's about a lot more than that. We have almost 5,000 online missionaries conducting gut-level personal ministry to all of these people who are coming to us today saying, answer my questions about Jesus, please. And yet we have churches full of people who believe those folks out there do not want to hear from us. I'm here to tell you something very different. They are in desperate spiritual need, and they do want to hear from us. 400,000 people who will come to us today. Sounds like a lot. But Google tells us there are 2 million spiritual searches every single day. We're only getting to 20% of the market. I am surrounded by Muslims who will kill me if they find out that I pray prayer on sight and ask Jesus into my life. Please pray for me. I do not know a single Christian. You are my only contact. There is a major crisis in education in America, and if there's a major crisis in education in America, there's a major crisis in America. We are in jeopardy of losing the next generation due to a combination of a horrific dropout epidemic and a racial achievement gap. Literally 50% of all minority kids drop out of high school before graduating, 50%. The negative impact that this crisis will have on our economy has been estimated at $192 billion per year for each class of dropouts. Open Doors USA has been a ministry here in Orange County since uh, the early 70s and worldwide since the 1950s. Literally 55 years of serving persecuted Christians around the world, able to bring Bibles, smuggle Bibles into the most difficult and dark places around the world. Um, Brother Andrew's story has sold over 10 million copies. Brother Andrew, his picture of ministry was always to go where faith costs the most. And that's what Open Doors truly does. We advance the kingdom in partnership with the local church where faith costs the most. It was just a few uh, years ago that the former ambassador for special uh, religious liberty, special ambassador from the United States, uh, told me, he said, Carl, the only organization we truly trust to tell us the condition of the church within the persecuted world is Open Doors. Roughly taken from the prayer that Jesus prays for his friends at the end. Father, just before the hour comes that was set aside to glorify your son with the glory from before the world began With the glory given to no other man Protect the ones you've given me to love I so desire that none of them be lost They've yet to understand the mystery 
Why the Son of God would wash another's feet 